Now I think it's a good time we finally bring this build to the forefront in NBA 2K21 because there are going to be a lot of these builds potentially being in the Pro-Am environment and also even going on to the park because this is a solid two guard build and also a three if you need it to be which is a two guard a shooting guard for those of you that don't know and a three is a small four. But besides that today we're going to be looking at the two way sharpshooter and how to build it for you guys. Hey let's go ahead and get into it my people. What's good, Two Way Fam? It's your boy Till here, and we are back on this NBA 2K21 looking at this new build that, hey guys, I want to explain to you as well as I can and as thorough as I can how to build it in order to maximize the number of badges and also the output on the attributes that you're going to get with this build. Now, when it comes to the two way sharp, we're going to start this build at the point guard position. Why? Because you're going to get more bang for your buck as far as badge output and also with adjusting the height, weight, and the wingspan so we're gonna put it at the point guard position right left hand it does not matter so now we're at the skill breakdown where we can choose whatever skill we would like and with this we're gonna go with the primary defending rebounding and the shooting pie chart and this is a good pie chart this year so be on the lookout for this because you may see a lot of sneaky builds with this this year and of course physical profile I would suggest speed because you're gonna be running up and down the floor getting to your spots rather that's the corner or the hash you want to get there as fast as possible so so I would say speed pie chart is going to be your best friend with this two way build. Now, as far as laying out the 404 attribute upgrades that we have, max out driving dunk, close shot, and I would say drop your close shot down to 81. That way you still have your three finishing badges. And I know for some people this may not be a lot, but I feel like this is a solid area in order to get you what you need because specifically you're gonna be a shooter, not necessarily a finisher. Going into the shooting, of course we're gonna max out mid range, three point shot, and also free throw. But we're gonna drop our free throw to 86 in order to save us a few attribute upgrades. That keeps us at 16. Once we get to playmaking, now this is where a lot of us can separate because some of you guys refuse to put any playmaking, which is okay, but this is for my people who need to potentially be the shooting guard of their team and make a play on the ball for their team whenever they're trying to handle. So with that, you now have 10 playmaking badges on a two-way build, which is a solid look all the way around. Now, when it comes to the playmaking, I would leave this exactly how it is with 77 and 78. Now, when we're getting into the defensive and rebounding, of course, max out perimeter defense, lateral quickness, steal. Then we go down to defensive rebounding and then the block rating. Now, you see we have nine attributes remaining. What I want you to do is stagger these as much as possible. So when it comes to the final layout of the defensive and rebounding category, we're going to go with 52 interior defense and 51 block. And the reason I'm putting a lot more emphasis on interior defense this year is because of the finishing methods that we have. The fact that players can now control how they finish around the rim if they're using the right stick for elite level of finishing, that's going to be a big difference this year versus last year. It was kind of at random. And if you were in good position interior defense is going to make it to where your player actually gets a solid good shot contest animation and i've played with builds without it and also builds with it and i'll tell you this i've enjoyed playing with interior defense more versus playing without it so you're going to go ahead and keep that where it is so that gives you a solid setup at 3 16 10 and 21. now when we get into the body shape i prefer build so i'm going to go ahead and stick with that but when we get into the height 65 i believe is a solid area now some of you can go 66 you still have your 10 playmaking badges which will be a good look all the way around so that's up to you but i will go with 65 at this category so once we drop the weight down to 178 at 99 you'll have 97 speed and 96 acceleration on a two-way sharp at 65 plus you'll have that vertical leap at a 79 which is really solid all the way around so we're at 178 and you're pretty much going to keep the wingspan at this same level because if you increase it by one you don't get the two-way sharpshooter name and if you lower it you pretty much don't do anything but lose stats at that point so with this we're going to keep this at 81.5 because it's a solid area. You still get the 75 ball handle. You get the three point shot, the mid range. You also get three finishing badges. 
Now, after you select the wingspan of 81.5, you see the options of the takeovers that we have. And surprisingly this year, guys, if you want to be a sneaky two-way playmaker or a two-way sharp, you can easily go with the playmaker takeover and freeze defenders because then in takeover, you'll have an 85 ball handle, which will be insane. But of course, I will go with the lock take. Once you solidify it, have yourself a two-way sharpshooter and it's sitting pretty my people and hey shades of Kirk Heimer, Steph Curry, John Wall I don't agree but as far as the setup guys we got 21, 10, 16, and 3 and this is basically to focus on more of the shooting you're gonna be a pure two guard or a three with your teammate supporting the point guard and I just wanted to make sure you have enough of those shooting badges to get what you need and remember this year we don't have quick draw so those 16 none of that is going to a pointless badge like quick draw so you can max out range extender volume shooter catch and shoot corner specialist hot zone hunter etc etc without taking that punishment of losing three to four badges off of quick draw so my people, if you made it to this point in the video and you feel like this build is something that you would go with, hey, make sure to like, subscribe, turn on those notifications, and also leave two-way in the comment section because your boy Till would truly appreciate it. And hey, man, I really want to know how you built up this build yourself in the comment section. But hey, I'll see y'all in the next one. Right, I'm too geeky to be preaching, I just show out Winning and it's looking like a blowout Pile up my paper, let it grow out If it ain't about no money, I don't go out I'm too geeky to be preaching, I just show out